in the Game Tech booth here at GDC 2019, we're looking at some of the developer tools. Right now we're going to talk about animation because Emotion FX has really added a whole level of uh, ease in animation and a great way to work between your animation system and the game engine seamlessly. I'm going to talk to John Vandenberg, who's here for, our, uh, for one of our software engineers, who's here to tell me about uh, how we've incorporated it, what was important about it, and show us a little demo where he's going to uh, shoot some chickens. Uh, so Emotion Effects is the animation system inside Lumberyard. Um, it's basically made um, to make it very easy for animators to um, quickly iterate and then without the need of an engineer, basically. That's the whole basic concept behind it. So let's take a look at that visual scripting language because this is really where the magic happens. He's able to like really quickly and easily establish nodes, make connections between them, handle all the blends, and then drop right back into the engine. Uh, yeah, so I can show you the a quick demo that we created for GDC, where we can shoot some chickens, and then I can walk you over uh, how to bring that, how to do that in uh, emotion effects, basically. So yeah, tell us about our character here. Uh, well, it's a cowboy. <laughs> There's not much to it, but. Uh, uh, yeah, so you can just shoot the chickens. So what are some of the key animations that we're going to look at now when we go back to the visual scripting? Yeah, uh, so um, I think the first thing we're going to look at is uh, just how to make the character move in all directions. So like, as you can see, you can move uh, to the left, to the right, forwards and backwards. We can run. And also when I turn the camera, see the character turn in place. Uh, we can shoot. And there's a reload. And, and we can turn in place and not break our hips. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. And we can look up and down. So, yeah, let's start the animation editor. So now we're going to jump out and we're going to look at the script canvas area. Well, actually, this is not script canvas. My mistake. Actually, Emotion FX runs on its own visual scripting language, but that does integrate and it looks very nice. Now we have the UI sort of looking the same. Uh, yeah, so this is Emotion FX, and here we see like an animation graph. And uh, basically, what we first want to do, I want to show you what a blend space is. Uh, what a blend space is basically a two-dimensional blend space. Um, so basically, we just have some motions. We have a uh, walking forward, backward, left, and right. Uh, but the game is requesting us to move in any given direction, based on, for example, your game controller analog stick. Um, so we need a way to. Um, to blend between those motions to make it go in that direction. So first of all, we're just going to add those motions. So I'm going to add a left motion, right, back, forward, and in place. Oh, sorry. Uh, so now that we have the motions loaded, we, we basically need to place the, the points. So um, every motion has a given location. Uh, I want the forward playing motion to be here, backwards to be here, left here, and right there. So, by the way, if you'd like to get, to get a grip here, this is like a top-down sort of vis yeah. vision, right? And so it's a 2D plane, moving forward, backward, left, right. Yep. Um, yeah, so you could see it as your, your analog stick, basically, and you're moving it in, in a direction. If you move it forward, it will point here, and to the right is here. Um, so yeah, we, we could manually enter those coordinates here. Uh, but we can also let emotion effects automatically analyze the motion data for us. So we can use the velocity um, to select left and right velocity and uh, front and back velocity. Now you can see uh, it created this, this shape. So here we have the front, the backward motion, left and right. So if yeah, I that's, a that's a strafe left and right, correct? Uh, yeah, correct, correct. So if I move this point around, you can see on the character that it's like moving forward, if I move it back, it's moving backward, uh, left and right. Ignore the, the upper body animation anyway, it's like uh, we're basically overwriting that later on. This visual for demo purposes. Uh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. So we can also do that uh, in, one, in one dimension. So here we have uh, three different poses, we have uh, aim up, forward and down. And as you can see, I can move the slider to, to blend between those. So that's the basic idea behind uh, blend spaces. So now let's look at the actual animation graph that was used. 
And of course, the nice part as an animator is now that we're working in this visual scripting space, is we're able to go in, make adjustments very quickly, drop right back into the game engine, control G, bam, we can see exactly what we're working on as it goes. That's what's really powerful about this whole system with Emotion FX. It's solutions like that that we're trying to bring developers so they can dream big and build bigger here at the Game Tech booth in GDC 2019.